Hey everybody, it's Nicky Announce. I'm here, and this is part nine of a walkthrough on Pokemon Coliseum. In this part, we are going to take on that guy. Oh, that guy is gonna throw it on my side. Vilch, you're trying to score an awesome Pokemon, aren't you? It's not gonna be easy. Bandana guy, Vilch. Yeah, I've heard weirder titles. Like I'm, I know for a fact that in Pokemon XC, there's a guy whose title is simply Guy. Nothing more. Just guy. Anyway, this guy's got an Electric and a Cacnea, so... Yeah, I'm gonna want to get rid of that Cacnea quick. Uh, let's use Slam and Fly. Because if Cacnea can get off a Grass Attack on... Um, what's its face? Quagsire, he is screwed. Okay, let's see how much slam does. Oh, that's good. Oh no! So why would you do that on Noctowl? Weird. Like everybody was attacking Noctowl while he was in the air. Oh well. And in comes Vulpix. Oh, damn. The only way that Quagsire can get paralyzed from an electric type. Pretty sure of it. Alright, let's go ahead and use Surf on this thing. I'm pretty sure that I can knock it out with... Or, I'm pretty sure that uh, Noctowl can take out the Electrite with Shadow Rush. And then, um, what's his name? Quagsire can take out Vulpix with Surf. Oh yeah, I've got this thing all planned out. Alright. Ember, oh no. Well, at least he didn't use do it on um Quagsire. That would have been just plain stupid. And alright, he hit through the computer or the paralysis, that's good. And it was a one-hit KO. Awesomeness. Wait, I'm just wondering. But didn't the surf hit the other guy? I mean he was standing right behind his Pokemon. Why didn't he get hit by the surf? Maybe he's wearing floaties. Oh well. Anyway, time for the final battle! I feel like I'm in Pokemon Stadium again. By the way, you can go ahead and check out Pokemon Stadium uh, right now by clicking this link right here. Anyway, this is a strong guy. If you beat me, Master Mirror B will come calling for your services. Oh no. Bodybuilder Mariz. <laughs> I don't want to work for Mirror B. He'll turn me gay. Oh, that's cheap. Anyway, he's got a bag on and a goldie. Alright, let's see here. I guess we'll go for a slam and a shadow rush, because I want to get rid of that bag on. Like, dragon types in general just seem like. Like, Dragon types are stronger than most types. It's one of those, like, upper tier types, I guess you could say. One of the better types in the game. So I don't really want to be on the field with a Dragon type for very long. If you know what I'm saying. You know what's kind of surprising? We haven't gotten that many uh, hyper modes in this game. Or in this uh, series of battles. Like, we had only one by Quagsire that one time. But yeah, now that's gone. Oh, and he's got a Magnemite too. Oh, damn, he's got a Magnemite. I just. That's not good. Uh, <laughs> okay. Well, we gotta get rid of that thing. And I think Shadow Rush is the best way to do that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Since Magnemite's got so many resistances, aha, you tried to use a water type move on Quagsire. Excuse me. Oh, Sonic Boom. Ooh, 
Yep, I just made that reference. What now? And there goes Magnemite. <laughs> I always preferred his uh, feigning animations in other games, where he just kind of like falls apart. Same for Magneton. I don't know if it's that way for um, Magnezone. Uh, seeing as how Magnus, oh, present. You got a present for me? Yay! Ow, that present hurt me. Oh, well, I lost my train of thought. I'm, I'm sure it'll come back to me. Uh, oh, yeah, I just made that reference. Uh -huh. and if you keep insisting on heal me, healing me, I'm okay with that. It's like, it's almost like Quagsire is using Absorb, or some draining move, on Noctowl. It's kind of funny. Alright, let's go ahead and use Surf. And then, uh, why not hit or fly? Wow, I didn't think Delibird was that fast. Guess he is. Yeah, <laughs> this isn't gonna do anything. Because Quagsire will take that water and knock out was in the air. So you just failed. And failed pretty hard for that matter. Oh yeah. Back to what I was thinking about. Uh this does Magnezone fall apart in Pokemon Battle Revolution when you KO him? Because I always thought that the falling apart segment, or seek animations for, uh... I always thought those were kind of cool. Come on, just go ahead and faint already. Why did I do that? Oh well. And there we go. That's it. There you go. Get out of my stadium. He just lost. Good day, sir. You're some kind of strong. Good things could be in store for you. Really? Good things? Like a pup? <laughs> Alright. But anyway, we did it. Congratulations, you're the champion. You battled fabulously. Please accept your cash prize of 4,848 Poké Dollars! That's pretty good. And as a victory prize, please also accept this TM06. I think that's toxic. Sweet. I think you get a new, uh, or a different TM every time you go in there. Let's see here. Yeah, toxic. Uh, I'll go ahead and put up the list of what happens when you get all of, like, you can go in there four times and get four different, um, uh, uh, TMs. But yeah, I'll just list what those are somewhere in there. Hi there, you must be the uh, superb trainer who, who has emerged triumphant in our latest battle challenge. Yes, I am. But we'll find out what our big time prize is in the next part. So this has been Nicky Nine Seven. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for Ten on Pokemon. I'll see. You. I'll see you next time.